Chapter 6 is going to be called Sue in the Boardroom. And this whole book is inspired by my meeting with Sue. And it serves as a prototype and a pattern towards any kind of scenario in life. And any scenario is just like every scenario. And the story of Sue is Sue plays the part of the gatekeeper here. And I play the part of the initiator. And I've been through the situation of the gatekeeper and the initiator so many times. And Sue has a counterpart who is another gatekeeper. And she, the other one is a little bit of a, a more easier energy for me as a gatekeeper. And I could feel it. I had an appointment with this other other girl. Then on the drive over, I felt the emotional mood. And I wondered why I didn't have access to my higher order thinking. I could feel that I was going into a situation that surrounded something of a different kind of energy. And then I found out that I had Sue. And Sue in this case is going to play a gatekeeper who is going to, in a way, send you home with your tail between your legs. Now, this is where I've always reflected an episode of The Andy Griffith Show that I saw that was very well done, where an out-of-town cop comes in and starts going by the rule book and starts to tell... Andy and Barney all about the infractions and Andy has to teach him the lesson that when you're dealing with people people are a little bit more fluid than what the book says the book can serve as a prototype and a pattern but people then allow the book to have a little bit of wings now, Sue was very nice and very cordial. I really liked the, this meeting and the intimacy of meeting in the boardroom. I felt that I gave a performance of understanding. I felt I listened in return. But essentially, uh, the, it was a, a small moment during the day, but it was one of those red X's that are powerful points of paradox. And so what I did with it is I came home and I was able to put all these, all this information together to, to form this book. I'm very happy now that I have a prototype and a pattern that says what I really think. Would you tell Jesus no? And what excuses would you have to telling Jesus no? This is not an indictment of Sue or the situation. Um, because from every point, there is always paradox to spring to a new point. In fact, of all the, the entrance to the gate, this is the first one that comes with its own own video. This much intention was put into um, this. And it doesn't really matter what the situation is. There is always ways to begin to work around what is the rules or the book or the way we've always done thing or the traditional way we've always done thing. And hey, when we go by a tradition, we may have a good track record, but it isn't always perfect. So I guess we should be open to some new ideas to begin to make it a little bit more perfect. So this is going to be the, the last chapter in the book. Um, and I really want this to reflect as Eminem 
said this is the music the moment you want it you better never let it go and you don't want to be pushy but you want to express what you know about this universe and you want all of the the gatekeepers to act as you would treat people the way you would like to be treated thus all the law and the prophets say love your neighbor as yourself and don't lo love your neighbor love your neighbor as yourself and this is how points of meetings work in terms of algorithms now the the situation actually doesn't matter even though each person went into it with their own alignment attached what you're there for is for a solution for a solutional purpose in every and any situation it is the same way and I've approached life knowing this and knowing what plus one is and be willing to meet every Jesus with the idea that the possibilities are open and endless now some people see it that way and some people are willing to bring in resistance so Sue then becomes a metaphor here for how I once was and how I learned to move on from that but Sue also represents here how much you compromise during the day and how many people begin to compromise during the day so I, I wanted to present this on this platter in this way and relate things to why Jesus was hung up and would you hang him up to, again today if you had him? Would you listen? Would you listen to his cries on the cross? Would you actually begin to incorporate these ideas that I, if I must tell Jesus into your own life and begin to reflect the possibility that Anything that I want from a gatekeeper, other people want from a gatekeeper. And again, it doesn't matter the situation or the scenario or the box that it's put in. It's your attitude and your mood that then reflects the way you are as a powerful person among a team towards reaching a solution.